In this video, I'm going to show you how to change, definitely change bit values in certain registers of the AVR, and also how to test for specific bits inside this uh, registers. And I'm also going to show you, because that follows uh, after this first section, how to set up port pins as inputs and outputs. I'm also going to show you that. So I've set up here a Word document. Um, and the first thing I want to mention is that the DDR register, that's the data direction register. This is where I change a specific port pin to become an input or an output. The X, if it refers to X here, it's because I've got a port B, I've got a port C, and I've got, I've got a port D on the Atmel 328P. Um, in this specific device, an input, if you want so to make a specific bit uh, on a port, a specific input, then you must make that bit a zero. If you want to make it an output, you must make it a one. So it's just the opposite. If you see I here, it looks like a one, it must be a zero. If you see O here, it looks like a zero, you must make it a one. Um, port X, which is again port B, C or D, is if I want to, once I've set up a specific pin as an output, I will write data to to the register called port whatever to write the data out of a specific pin or pins. Uh, if I've set up a register, the port register to become uh, input pins, this is where I will read it in. So I can only read data in on pin X, which again will be pin B, C or D. It is to read data into the microcontroller if a pin or a port was set up as an input. So in the C programming for Atmel Studio, uh, I would like, for instance, to make port B, uh, pin number four, an output. Um, and the way to do that is I'll have to go to the DDR B register, and I need to change pin number four as an output, which means it must become a one, as I've said before. No, it, it thus, thus needs to change to a one. So ultimately, I want to have DDR B to be a value of one sitting in bit, bit number four. Now, this is one way of doing it. I can do it in this way, and that will force, because this hex one zero will force the value um, to become a one in bit number four. But the disadvantage is that all other pins becomes inputs. Why is that? Well, this zero here is actually uh, four zeros in the register. So that becomes a zero, that becomes a zero, that one a zero, that one a zero, which means they're all input pins. All of a sudden, all of these becomes input pins. And this one here is actually represented with zero, 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 one, which means they will also become input pins. So I, I force a specific pins to become inputs, which is not really what I want to do. Now, there is a way around this in Atmel Studio, and this is what we use. We use uh, a statement like this, um, and what I've said here is that one smaller than smaller than four is a constant. A lot of students make the mistake and think this is shifting, but it's not shifting. It's not the shifting um, command. So what this is, this one smaller than smaller than four actually means there's a one in the place of bit number four. Now, just to also directly correct you, because immediately people start thinking incorrectly. They think if they put a zero here and a four there, then you put a zero in bit number four, but that's not true. You can only put a one in bit number four. So if I put here one smaller than smaller than four, that means this is the constant value and bit number four is a one, as I've, I've, I've said here. So Let's assume I'm taking this uh, DDRB. Let's assume this register has got this value in there. This is what it is, let's say, in my program somewhere. It is this specific value in, inside DDRB. Um, so I only want to change that one specific bit, and I want to leave these four bits exactly the same, and these three bits must also be the same. I only want to change DDRB to become a one. That's all I want to do. So the way to do that now is if I use this command, I'm taking DDRB, I'm ORing it. Here you can see I'm ORing it with that constant value which I've explained now. 
so if I start doing that this one or with zero gives me a one there it is the zero or with a zero gives me a zero there it is and you can check it yourself and you will see that these four bits look exactly the same there are no this NC that I've put here is no change so it stays a one and a one zero one so I've got no change on on DDRB and the same applies here because zero or zero stays zero 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 stays zero 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 stays so this these three also there are no changes uh, but zero or one forces bit number four of DDRB to become a one which means that is the only one that actually changed bit number four of DDRB changed to be a one that may means it's becoming an output now uh, port B pin number four becomes an output and this is how it's done um, this is just this is the long method now to to achieve this and there's a shorter method of course uh, by writing this I do exactly the same thing and this is the one that is preferred uh, in C language because it's just a, sm a shorter way of writing stuff now if I want to take for instance port B pin number seven and I want to make it an input that means I must make bit number seven a zero <coughs> that's what it means now how do I make that specific bit a zero again now the change is we're going to take DDRB which is the data direction register and we're just going to and it so the moment you want something to become a zero you and and you use the tilde here which means you actually complement this specific constant we know this constant one smaller than smaller than seven let's just go back to that one here it is now. in other words this what you see here is bit number seven which is a one this is what this means so if I put the tilde in front of of that specific um, uh, constant here it is I'm actually taking this value and I'm complementing each and every every bit which means bit number seven becomes a zero and the rest all ones so if I now take this statement again I take DDRB and I'm assuming I'm just taking a value let's assume that one uh, this is the value in DDRB if I and this with the inverse of that constant which we know by now is this and if I and the two together one and zero will definitely produce a zero one and one will produce a one so can you see that one in DDRB stays exactly the same zero and one becomes a zero so that's still the same so you'll see that this all the bits from zero to six will remain exactly the same in DDRB it is just this specific one bit that was a one which is now going to change to a, to a zero due to this specific statement that I had here so a shorter way to write this again is to do this so this is as, as soon as you want to make a pin low a specific pin or a bit or whatever I'm just saying a pin but it could be a bit in the register also if you want to make it a low that means you use the and yeah you use the tilde and you specify the bit that we're talking about if you want to make a specific bit um, a one then you will or it with the specified bit and this is how easy it is to make a bit a bit in a register a zero or a one in this case we did it to set up port uh, bit, bit right sorry to set up a port uh, pin direction but it could have been any register to make it high or low and this is uh, the next thing I want to show you is how to test a pin if it's high or low um, what we will do here is we will use the if statement and we'll say if pin B and remember pin B if I start using pin B I'm actually want to read a specific status of a pin um, I and pin B I want to add that with again a constant value and I'm going to test if it is equal to a one so let me just show you let's assume uh, pin B is this value in other words bit number seven is high uh, zero one two and three is also high but I want to test bit number seven um, 
so in this statement here i'm saying let's and pin b with this constant we know the out what this constant is bit number seven uh is definitely a one and the rest is zero so if i add the two together and i add that one and i add that one the result will definitely be a one uh, in well it will be a one and the rest of them i've got well the rest of them if i can just look at this i'm ending whatever i see in pin b with zeros which means the result will actually be because one and one is a one and because of this all zeros the result will be all zeros in those positions and the result will be one and a lot of zeros but a one and a lot of zeros is a true value because a true value is either one or higher it doesn't matter in this specific case uh, is it true yes so if it is true it will execute whatever you see in this uh, area if uh, this specific pin b that bit was a zero then by ending the two the answer would have all been zeros and it would then be executing this section so this is how we would test a specific bit inside a specific register and this register could be any one of the registers in this microcontroller um, so it all only depends on which one you're talking about you will see in later sections to, to follow also we're going to test a specific register and the bit we can actually give it a name because a lot of these bits also have their own name and this is how you basically change a, a bit inside a register either to become a zero or a one this is how you do it and this is how you test is the bit high is the bit low uh, by using this method. Thank you.